I've been inspired to create this picture book by the adult TV series Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. They are essentially shows about the minutia of everyday life and the annoyances and inconvenience that the characters face in their lives. I wanted to create a children's picture book about everyday inconveniences and annoyances from a child's perspective, a sort of Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiasm in children's book form. Having looked at existing practice, I feel that I have discovered a gap in the picture book market when it comes to talking about everyday annoyances and inconveniences that children experience in their lives. Contemporary practice in the picture book market tends towards books that resolve feelings and emotions. A key aim for me is to create a book with a humorous dimension. I want the reader to find humour in life's frustrations. The aims of this project include I wish to create a humorous picture book which provides new insights to enable both adults and children to recognise or be able to empathise with the characters and the social situations that they find themselves in. I want to display the huge amount of learning and development that I have accumulated throughout this Masters and this project and how that learning has come together to provide me with the insight that enables me to create illustrations consistent with the forefront of practice. Finally, I aim to fulfill a long-held personal goal of creating a picture book from concept to a finished book. I also wish to use this as a professional jumping off point from which I can confidently engage with industry on this and future projects. The purpose of this project can be summarised as follows. I wish to create a humorous picture book which provides new insights to enable both adult and child readers to recognise and sympathise with the characters and the social situations they find themselves in. I want children to see their frustrations acknowledged and recognised on the page in situations that are familiar to them and they can empathise with. I can see this book also being used in primary school settings for personal social health and economic education or PSHE lessons. The different scenarios in the book could be used in group settings in a key stage 2 classroom helping children to adapt and cope with different social situations. This will help to contribute to the emotional health and well-being and self-esteem of children. I envisage the learning and knowledge that I have accumulated throughout this project to come together in a way which informs and provides unique insights consistent with the forefront of current practice. I intend to exhibit in-depth knowledge and understanding of techniques and processes necessary to create a picture book using the latest digital software and techniques. From the outset I wanted to create a front and rear cover that worked independently and also told the story when opened together. I always felt like it was a missed opportunity when picture books front and rear covers don't connect in some way. The title of the book, OG's Louise, is an Americanism and this inspired the typical Southern California beachfront scene. Having created the front cover with a range of complementary colours that work together, I use these colours as a reference throughout the book to limit my colour palette. I referred to the purple uh, Southern California sunsets and I experimented with graduated monochromatic purple strips. A dedication to my two children, Aaron and Fia, three in one. But similarly to other authors such as Karen Ellis and John Classen, I have added my name to the title page font. I prefer a signature to a font, as your signature is your identifier mark and a chance to create a brand. Just consider Walt Disney's signature, which is the identifying logo to Disney to this day. I have five scenes from a child's life in my picture book. I have decided to have one central character, Louise, and I have organised them roughly into the day in the life of that character. But I needed a way to book in these different scenarios in a cohesive way. So this is where the idea of an opening and ending scene came about. I come up with the approach of a typical school canteen scene. The whole book shares this 1970s, early 1980s aesthetic. The white background serves as a negative space. I feel it is a connecting element throughout the book, which I think gives the images a chance to breathe. This is one of the first scenes I worked on, and I felt it was where the look of the book became more consistent. I was still experiment with what my background colours would be. I like the idea of complementary colours coming together, like in the work of Chris Houghton and Mars Noble, 
and the abstract expressionist Mark Rothko. I have a particular affinity with Volvos of this vintage as we had one when I was young. I've also noticed that a lot of American films featuring families in the late 70s and early 80s used this car. So in the next scene Louise is still thinking about cake while playing Camogie which is a typical Irish game for girls. In this scene the perspective was crucial to what I was trying to achieve. I wanted the room and the objects in it to seem correctly proportioned. I researched to see if I could find any Photoshop plugins that would help me with perspective. Sergei Kritsky's perspective tools allowed me to do two things. Firstly, it allowed me to create a bespoke four point perspective grid based upon the points I selected in my sketch. This helped me enormously to get my head around what needed to be placed where and how to keep things proportioned correctly. The second main feature of this perspective plugin was that you could warp images to fit your new perspective grid. Take for example the TV cabinet. I created the font elevation and then I was able to warp this image to fit in with my new perspective grid. This allowed me to complete the rest of the image accurately using the perspective grid and the warp front elevation. Also in this scene the passage of time was important because it was a key factor in Louise's frustrations. That's why I placed the clock on the wall. So the time passed from two to four and she was cleaning and eventually to seven. The whole day was spent cleaning and the visitors weren't coming. Arr. So this is the scene with the girl Louise, the main character, is frustrated because her younger brother wants light on at night. I was thinking from the beginning how to resolve the challenge of illustrating light in this story. I decided I'd have to demonstrate without trying to overcomplicate it with hard physics. The ambient light there in the room was being provided by the ceiling light bulb in the foreground. I gave it a saturated colour and made the internal elements visible to show it was on. As a side note, I moved the bulb as I noticed after the first print it was too close to the central spine. I desaturated the bulb colours and made the internal filament no longer visible. Again, I took a bit of artistic licence creating a hard colour change between the light and the shadow but I feel it works better that way as a sort of graphical simplification of reality. I experimented with different colour choices for the shadow areas initially trying to saturate the pinks but I felt that the monochromatic blues worked best. This ending scene is bookmarking the picture book. It is connected to the canteen scene in the beginning. I have also tipped my hat to the work of one of my primary influences for the book by including a variation of Larry David's catchphrase from his TV show Curb Your Enthusiasm. I have added two pretties to one of the last sentences. Other than that, I am a pretty, pretty easy going kind of person. The main achievements of this project can be listed as follows. Completing the picture book was a massive achievement for me. To create a piece of work from concept to a finished professional book. It took massive determination and resolve to keep progressing and resolving problems as they arise in a professional way. I've learned to be even more disciplined in the use of my time. I've used a K-Ban project management system using a whiteboard with three columns and with post-its. I have enjoyed moving the tasks from to do to ongoing to done. I created my own typeface through fonts. I have always been a typography enthusiast. It is one of the things that I check when purchasing a book. I have noticed that most illustrators and publishers tend to use commercially available standard font types. So learning how to create my own font was massively exciting for me. I made this one of my goals at the outset of the project. Although this increased my time pressure, I set myself two criteria. Firstly, the font must be clearly legible and have good readability. Secondly, I wanted it to be uniquely my own and identifiably mine. Font design has opened up a whole new area of creativity for me and possible future revenue streams. The almost daily consistency of working on this project and the Masters as a whole has helped me enormously to develop my professional practice. I am now consistently able to realise work to a professional level. I have developed an advanced awareness of current practice that has enabled me to look contextualise with critical awareness the images created by my fellow picture book practitioners. The illustration skills and knowledge 
that I had has now been developed further and harmonised to a point that I now feel confident to practice professionally. Taking a concept to a finished product enables me now to reflect on the experience gained in undertaking this major study and how steps taken at different stages can impact on the final design. I was able to consolidate my learning throughout this Masters and have developed a wider understanding of the traditions and new insights at the forefront of my area of illustration practice. My understanding of the picture book market and how it functions has been greatly increased. I have increased my awareness of current market trends and audiences to consider reinforcing what I learned in the audience module. I have consolidated previous Photoshop skills in a manner which allows me to work in a natural way without thinking. I have also gained further advanced knowledge of the techniques and processes, for example, font creation and working with perspectives.